All right, guys, um, so I'm gonna add on to the last Nogi video that I did when you had the back, um, but this time the person is gonna have really good control of your arm, your top arm, the choking arm. So we're gonna look at some options from there, okay? Let's do it. So I'm here, I have the back control, my seatbelt grip that I've been, been talking about forever. And uh, just a few details. I wanna take him to my top arm side, okay? That's the side I wanna do the choke on, not so much the other side. Maybe we'll do a video on that one, okay? So again, I wanna stay on this side, okay? And not on this one. I don't wanna go on this other side. And just a little reason, he can start to escape on this side, okay? All right. He can, he can try to escape on the other side, but I have more control on that side, okay? So I have my hooks in. Here, I have them on my, my choking side. And uh, just to review, last time we did controlling the wrist, look how I, I get my fingers on, it, on his palm. And I'm using all four fingers, okay? My thumb, I prefer to keep it together with my four fingers, like a monkey grip, not so much grabbing here. Because, uh, on the other side, because it's not very strong, all right? I'm not trying to squeeze his arm, his hand, you know? Maybe he has a big hand. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna do much to that. Um, so I prefer keeping all my fingers on that palm. And once I'm here, um, I've shown how we can extend this and use that to push them over. And we're gonna use a very similar concept. Um, so this time my partner, he has my arm trapped. He knows what I'm trying to do. He knows I wanna get the rear naked choke. So he, he's holding that arm very tight, you know, it's not co gonna come out. So I'm gonna pummel my hand, uh, the top, the bottom arm, I'm gonna pummel inside. And look, I get the grip, the palm grip, and I can rip his hand off of my arm. And so that takes one arm off, one hand off, but the other hand's gonna hold even tighter now because he lost that, that grip. Uh, and uh, I, I'm not gonna be able to, to overpower him especially if he's stronger, he's gonna be able to open my arm up and slide his head out. And he's gonna be able to defend my back position, my back attack, okay? Thank you, thank you, there you go. So to combat that, he's holding my hand. I re-grip, pummeling inside, control his wrist. I rip the grip out, boom. And now I'm gonna use that same movement where I extend his arm and I shoot my back behind his back, or my front, my chest behind his back. Here, boom. And now, my hand is still trapped, but I'm, I have more leverage. Come behind me, please, Aria. I'm gonna have more leverage to uh, pull my, uh, more behind me, like my back, yeah. I'm, a, I'm up on my elbow, so I have more leverage to pull my hand out now. So I'm just gonna strip it back. And now my hand is free, okay? Now that I'm here, I'm, I'm, I still wanna continue my attack, so I don't wanna just like, I don't wanna let go of everything. So keeping that grip on the palm, I'm gonna place my chest behind his back. And look, I wanna push his head towards the mat, trapping his free hand, the hand that he would use to defend his neck like this, okay? So I'm here, and look, I lean forward. And notice, I keep my hooks in this whole time. I'm still controlling his back, okay? Here, I push forward, and I don't need to go all the way over. I just wanna keep my weight kinda of on his, his upper body. Okay, once I'm here, I'm gonna shoot my, my choking arm inside. Boom, you see how it goes right in? This works because I'm, his, this hand is trapped, so he can't really use it. And two, I'm in his blind spot. He doesn't know when I'm gonna go, so I can kinda pick my, my chance, my, my opportunity, okay? So I'm putting a lot of pressure here. I'm up on my elbow still, and look, I shoot it in, and all my fingers are together, okay guys? Boom, it comes in, and look, I, my fingers go back to the shoulder. I can continue going forward, but I prefer to pull him back in, all right? And we've done this before. Uh, if I don't have a good angle, I can push off of his back and then readjust, okay? That's one detail a lot of guys miss. They get the rear naked choke, but the angle's bad, so they're, sit they're sitting here squeezing 
but it might be on like the side of his neck or it's not really hitting that carotid artery. So the guy, you know, he might be able to kind of last longer than your arm strength can last, okay? So once I'm here, again, I want to lock my rear naked choke behind his head, okay? I never want to leave that arm exposed to be grabbed. He can do a gnarly arm bar here, you know? Ah, you can break that thing. So everything behind his back, I slide. Look how I keep my palm facing towards my body and the back of my hand touching his body, his head, okay? So I look how I grab my bicep, boom, and then I slide my, my other hand to my the other side of my arm. And again, black belt detail, I bring my elbows together as I squeeze. And I like to compress everything in together, into, onto him. So even my upper body, everything is coming down, okay? Never out. Everything inward, okay? All right, guys. Thank you, Daniel. Hopefully this video helps you guys. And I'm going to put out some more videos with the back control. Just if you guys really want to help, please like this video and subscribe. Till next time, peace out. Ciao.